Well, hi there. Today is Friday, the 14th of April, 2023, and I am heading south to Yosemite Lakes, uh, a thousand trails park down in kind of central California. Uh, going down there for a week. I've got to go into the office uh, one day next week, and so I just thought I'd uh, have a few extra days of some enjoyment as part of this trip, so I'm heading down there now. I'm coming up on Black Butte here. Uh, Mount Shasta is off to my left. Uh, you're not able to see it right now because of trees. Actually, maybe that will show you. I don't know. I'm just pointing the camera in that general direction. But uh, just hitting the road and gonna go uh, see if we can have a little uh, have a little getaway. So stay tuned. So as I'm making my way down the I-5 uh, towards Sacramento, we're coming into an area where there was the car fire uh, several years ago, five, five years ago, four or five years ago. And you can see the devastation of the car fire. Uh, the trees just really were weakened by the drought over the many years, actually even decades. And to... Uh, the trees just really succumbed to the fire. They were like matchsticks uh, because of the uh, uh, lack of moisture and, and just how thing, how dry everything was. It's really sad. So I'm looking at Lake Shasta right now. I have not seen it this high in literally decades. We had a serious winter this year and it is nice to see it back up to where it was back in the 1990s. Very cool. Well, good evening. It is Friday evening, the 14th of April, 2023. And Remy and I are here at a uh, truck stop in Corning. It's uh, part of uh, uh, the Namambi uh, ranch branch of uh, Indians at their casino here. You know, I... I forget how much I enjoy getting on the road and uh, tonight uh, this run was was indicative of how much I enjoy it and again like I said I don't need any hookups uh, and that is the beauty of this motorhome uh, it's a 20 year old rig but it is comfortable yeah I've done some upgrades to it so that it's more up to date but uh, it it is perfect and uh, just really enjoy this and the lifestyle. So uh, anyway, just wanted to add that little tidbit on there and uh, we'll give you another update tomorrow. Well, good morning. And I can't look into the sun like that very much. Uh, I uh, boondocked here this eve uh, last night at the Rolling Hills Casino here in Corning, California. And uh, we were staying over Let's see we were staying over in the uh, truck stop area which is back over there and there's the Allegro bus with the Jeep still securely attached to the back of it gonna take Remy out for a walk before we hit the road and then uh, give the uh, whole setup a, a once-over and then we'll be good to go and there she is just wagging her tail <laughs> I love you baby girl so I'm just driving through the uh, Central Valley I'm on I-4 or California Route 4 uh, heading east out of Stockton and uh, it's really pretty back here right now it, you know California had a really great water year I passed a couple of uh, farms that have good sized ponds on them and the water is just going to seep into the aquifer. It's just going to be freaking glorious. But I uh, just wanted to get some video of this. Uh, nice green rolling hills in California. This is kind of a rarity. Um, so I'm soaking it up. Well, here we are at the Thousand Trails RV Park at Yosemite Lakes, just north of Yosemite here in California. And it's a very pretty park. They've uh, done a lot of upgrades 
to it. The fences are new. The uh, play structure is new. The lodge buildings are new. Um, so yeah, everything's in really good shape here. Uh, got some really nice back in spots down here by the river. If I hadn't needed uh, internet access this week, I would have uh, parked down there in the trees. But I got to work, so that's what I'm going to do. We're going to head over now and listen to some live music. entryway to Yosemite National Park so we're gonna see about checking this out today um, I love our national parks so I got here kind of early today mainly to uh, beat the crowds the unfortunate thing is is that uh, about three years ago there was a fire that came through Yosemite and uh, really devastated the park. Uh, and you may notice a lot of bare trees as we drive through here, and it's because of all the damage from the wildfire that came through here. It's, uh, it's very sad. You see more as we make this right turn here. Gosh, look at all that devastation. waterfall coming down there comes down into the canyon feeds into this river we're hoping to stop on the way out when the sun's a little higher in the sky to get some shots of this but uh, the parking areas may be a lot more busy so it may not be possible for me to stop so I thought I'd get it as long as I could. So I'm at uh, the Tamarack Bridge and the waterfalls here. It's pretty amazing. As the sun gets higher in the sky, the imagery is much improved. Beautiful. Making our way to Yosemite Valley and uh, stopped here along the Merced River. Very pretty out here today. Very pretty. So we pulled off to the side here. As I'm approaching the Yosemite Valley, there's just so many places to pull off and check out and look at. It's just truly, truly beautiful. Yeah. 
So here in the Yosemite Valley, at the Yosemite Lodge, they have plug-in charging stations provided by Rivian. So that's cool. So one of the things that makes you wonder is at the top of those granite faces there, how is it you have pine trees and stuff that grow up there? There must be enough soil and crevices and stuff to uh, hold nutrients and moisture. It's pretty cool. Pretty amazing. Well, we're making our way out of uh, Yosemite Valley here and stopped along the Merced River just to kind of check it out. Well, I'm making my way to the Tuolumne Humane Society and uh, just got done through the windy roads of 120 and I'm about 15 minutes out from the Humane Society. But it's just a very pretty day here and I was just thinking about how green the hills are and everything and being a California resident for the last 61 years knowing that uh, within a few months that green is all going to turn brown except for the shrubbery and stuff and it's going to be coming into fire season so uh, you know it's beautiful this time of the year though and enjoying the hell out of it so I'm at the Tuolumne Humane Society here in Jamestown, uh, California, uh, walking dogs this morning, and we've got Nellie here, who is very interested in the dogs that are barking behind me. Come here, Nellie. Come here, Nellie. Well, I was trying to get a front on Nellie, but she's just so busy this morning. So, but, uh, Enjoying working with some dogs and just a leisurely day here because I'm not in any rush to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to hang out till about 3 and then uh, head back to the motorhome. But uh, just enjoying, um, kind of decompressing to some degree. Although there's a lot of barking going on. <laughs> well, this is Don Pedro Reservoir. It's uh, halfway between Sonora and... Groveland where the campground is at the Thousand Trails at Yosemite Lakes but just a vista point that I wanted to stop and check out without the music. So getting in and out of Yosemite area on 120 it's a bit of a windy road and uh, it's a supposedly 55 mile an hour zone but uh, Nobody in their right mind would drive 55. 30 is probably a better speed to drive through here. But as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty windy. So Remy and I are just up here across the road, trail, whatever, from where the Jeep's parked. And just uh, giving Remy a chance to check out something new and different. Um, I think it's cool. All these trees that have been planted or, or grown from seedlings and are thriving in the area. Um, having the amount of moisture we had this year is going to really help them out. It's going to be a good spring for them this year. Well, good morning, and today is Saturday, the 22nd of April, 2023, and I'm making my way towards Yosemite uh, for the second time this week. And this is kind of an interesting pullout. It overlooks a uh, area that's got a bunch of what looks like yurts or something without canvas tops on them. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But uh, it's very interesting. This area was not impacted recently by any fires, although there does look like there's some trees right there that may have been burned not too long ago. Um, and it may have gone through that village, although I would have thought those buildings, the wood structures on those would be gone. So I don't know what that was back there. But uh, 
just here enjoying the uh, the various views. So I'm approaching Lower Yosemite Falls. This is just amazing. I just love coming out and doing stuff like this. It's just amazing when you look up there at the top where the falls are. But there's actually trees growing up there. And the spray. This is one of those places you could bring your dog. I didn't bring Remy today because I wasn't sure if there'd be signs posted saying no dogs, but I haven't seen any yet. So I'm here by the falls, or coming up on the falls. And it's just cool to hear the birds and everything chirping. And see the granite. I can't think of a better way to have spent my Earth Day. Here we are at Lower Yosemite Falls. Lower Yosemite Falls and there's a uh, rainbow there what a beautiful day Well, I'm on my way to Mirror Lake. There's a couple of different ways you can go about this. One of them is a dirt trail, one of them is a roadway, and I eh, thought I'd take the semi-dirt trail, although you'll see that there's some pavement in here too. But it's very picturesque, very wonderful, very pretty. Still making my way towards Mirror Lake. Just very pretty through here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well, this appears to be Mirror Lake, and uh, you'll notice why as I pan to the right and use a wide-angle lens, you see the reflection of the granite in the lake below. Very pretty. I wasn't sure if this was Mirror Lake, but uh, there was a sign that I passed just maybe 50 yards behind me that said Mirror Lake. It's very pretty. Well, as I prepare to leave the Yosemite Valley, this is a very cool place to experience. Well, I 
I've uh, finished my visit to Yosemite National Park and uh, it has been a truly glorious uh, visit. I uh, highly recommend this trip to anybody who uh, is interested in seeing Yosemite and uh, I even recommend it to those who really don't think they've got an interest in it because it is truly beautiful, it's awe-inspiring, and it does make you think about our world. Uh, so if you do want to come, my suggestions is get here early. Get here before eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I don't, and I mean, make it inside the gate before eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then find yourself a parking space, either at Yosemite Lodge or Curry Village and then ride the buses around uh, Yosemite Valley because uh, parking becomes a real nightmare after about 9 a.m., uh, especially in the spring and summer and fall uh, time frames. But uh, it is definitely worth the experience, definitely worth the visit, uh, spending quality time with your loved ones here. Uh, it's, it's all of that. So. Um, I'm going to sign off from my visit from uh, Yosemite at this time. And I still got a few more days staying at Yosemite Lakes uh, Thousand Trails Park. So we're here at the Groveland Community Park. And uh, I just finished running around in Yosemite this, earlier today. And so I loaded Remy up in the Jeep and I took her out for a little Remy time. A little time for Remy to do what Remy wants to do, and she likes to uh, chew on grass. I don't let her eat a lot of it, but I let her eat a little bit. Well, good morning, and uh, today is Sunday, the 25th of uh, April, 2023. And Remy and I are driving from the campground at Thousand Trails at Yosemite Lakes out towards the city of Manteca. Um, there's actually a thousand trails out there that I want to check out. And also, it's kind of getting to the point to where I need to do some grocery shopping. So we're going to hit Costco and Safeway or Albertsons, whatever is available down here. And uh, just kind of check out the area because that might be an area that I end up uh, using my new anchor point uh, here in uh the Central Valley. So um, we will uh, give you some updates as we move along here. Well, here we go. You have reached your destination. And uh, okay, as it kind of said, it was closed due to flooding. Park closed, staff, EMS deliveries only. Okay, well, there you go. Well, welcome to Thousand Trails Turtle Beach. Um, yeah, it's flooded. It said on the website that uh, it was closed due to water damage, and uh, I believe it. So, there's a lot of drainage that's got to take place before they uh, are going to be able to reopen this. Well, today is still Sunday, the 25th, excuse me, the 23rd of April, 2023. And uh, it's the end of the weekend. A lot of rigs have pulled out because, uh, well, it is Sunday. A lot of them came in Friday, were here two nights, and then they pulled out. But this has been a very nice campground to stay at. The road getting into it, California Route 120, is a bit of a challenge. But uh, it's, it's worth the uh, experience. I'm glad I stayed a few extra days so that uh, um, I could make the most of my visit to Yosemite. So um, I would highly recommend coming here if you... Uh, or a Thousand Trails member. Hi, baby girl. You ready? You ready? There it goes. 
Come on, Remy. Come on, baby girl. Good girl. Good girl. Well, tonight is the last night here at Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails RV Park. And uh, it has been just a glorious stay here. Really enjoyed this. This is a wonderful park. Um, about the only detraction on it is the fact that um, to get here you got to go up the windy route 120. Um, I would do it again but I haven't driven down the 120 yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow. <clears throat> I've done it in the Jeep several times but not in the motorhome so it'll be interesting to see what it's like but I would definitely come back here and uh, experience this again. So here's where the Allegro bus is parked. Um, had some wonderful neighbors here. Um, very uh, friendly and uh, conversive neighbors, so that was nice. Um, gonna start getting things put away here in the motorhome so I can head out tomorrow after work. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna be good to go and head home or head to Chico tomorrow. Getting the motorhome washed here at uh, Blue Beacon. And the Jeep's getting washed as well. Well, I'm on my way home from uh, Yosemite and then Chico to Wairika. And I stopped at the Blue Beacon truck stop. Got the truck and the, uh, the motorhome and the Jeep washed. So, uh, they'll at least look better. At least the motorhome will. The Jeep will suffer from some spray from the motorhome which isn't great but that's all right so uh yeah heading home <laughs>